Seven start in the big leagues. Home of the one, two, and it's in there for strike three. Daylight. He and the Dodgers get ten of those today. Everybody throws. Friedel hit the center field, but no big deal for James Altman, assuming he can find it. In the 20th pitch from Sheehan is a fastball that gets him swinging. Cal Honda dealers. Mookie Betts tweaked his ankle last night, dodging that pitch. St. Louis Cardinals a decade ago. Peralta slaps a bouncing ball left side. They scratch Jonathan Indy. Run rate in the league. That's a roller left side. Gives Steer another chance. This one he... The field, Frito is back at first. Now steps into the shadows and makes the grab. One up losing by a run. Muncy hits this ball hard. Deep right field. There it goes. Home run on kill. Two run shot. Backside of the diamond. De La Cruz. One pitch to Fraley. The field. Routine for Peralta. All three. Home of the 2 2. Fastball rings him up. It's a done. It'll give you some confidence. 3-2 from Sheehan. He takes ball four. And at the peak of his own, pulls one left side. That is Rojas in short left. Accurately, but hook that moving away. Congratulations, bud. Thank you so much. You did an unbelievable job. Hayward bounces it to first. There's Votto. Little bit low. Almonton. In the left field, Senzel. This ball to right field for Jake Fraley. And that. two for the Reds, Luke Maley drive the deep center that's over Altman set and off the base of the wall. Reds in with Peralta. The center field. Altman makes the call. Making him work. 2-2 two -two again is cut on and miss. You got to... Digs this one out into right field. But Halt. Bounce past them to De La Cruz. Five years that he's made more than 13 starts in a year. So to Muncie with a high fat for Spencer Steer. And that ends the makeup. Th My parents taught me that. Fairly climbs the ladder to get to that one, lines it to his verbiage and vernacular. They're also trying to show guys. Well, pop up to. Just has to execute it. Oh, hits a fly ball to right field. Big swing, little fly. There's. Mm -hmm. That's a shot up of the. That McLean right. gets to him, makes it. Fouled into the glove, two out, and so the dead times within the rules. Leak baseball better. Bouncing ball to second base, McLean's got it, and two. Swing and a miss, good breaking ball. One more, Boston. Nick Senzel is the left. Peralta, look out, Rojas. Enough. Alone hit of the game for the Reds, not going to get a second. Jason Hayward on 3 1, Rojas left field, Nick Senzel towards the corner, got it. Oh, down to a charging De La Cruz. Cruz around. And he bangs a base hit to off, but won't. And look out. Lead off double. Oh, Wills. Bouncing ball towards the middle. Taylor not unable to get it. And the red. Another 0-2. Any situation? Will they go opposite of that? Lifted to right. Arcing in Hayward. De La Cruz shaping up to tag. Catch made. He'll test the arm. Throw to the plate. Way too tall. De La Chips this ball. Blooper beyond short. Splashes down. Base hit. Friedel rips around third. He scores. And Steer ties the game. Sometimes it creeps up when you don't find it. And it's going to do it for Caleb Ferguson. <laughs> Throws this one to the backstop. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Jaws! Little stat behind the plate. Just... Struck him out. Starts the sixth. Then he's down on strikes. It's been such a rough year, but now he waits in a breaker. Lofts it to left center. There's Steer. Green light and cross. Down the line. Goodbye. On this 2 1 from Weaver. Shadow center field for Kevin Newman, who's called off by T. But then JD Day walk off home run in the bottom of the ninth. Since he came up to the infield for Max Muncy to call the catch two out two pitch hundred but no big deal for James Altman and a one two three seven right and so many they wanted Benson a long way to go Diamondbacks backs teammate Luke Weaver and that's taking the strike there. one an honor to have him yeah and he's down on strikes here crew Series. Kike Hernandez on defensively. Doing so in a one run game here. Denning by a base hit from McLean. Bouncing ball. Hernandez over. Pops to his feet and gets it. 
Steer down swinging. Two gone here. Effective one for Bruce Dargrad. Two. Fano grounds one to first. Freeman's got it. On to Phillip. Five to seven a game to hit with runners in scoring position for a long time. Two out. High fly left field and Steer is there. That'll do. Back home. And will he have room? He wins his reach. Another one two to Benson. Strike from Phillips. De La Cruz pops it in the left center field. This should do it. There's Peralta. Ball game. Dodgers win 3 2. Max, there were only two hits and three runs in this game, and you single handedly accounted for all of them. How are you able to attack Weaver and the Reds today? Uh, I think I just got a couple mistakes. Um, you know, I, I thought Weaver was very good today, especially to our lefties. He was pounding the fastball up and in very good. Uh, he wasn't missing out of the plate, and, and uh, thankfully I got two of his rare mistakes today, and I was able to get the barrel to it. In your last nine games, you've had six home runs, 16 RBI. Do you feel like you've unlocked something as of late? I hope so. All I can do is keep showing up and working hard and doing everything I can to uh, make an impact on this team. When you look at what Edmund Sheehan did out there on that mound today, how was he not only the stopper, but how did he step up for this team to help you guys get the win today? I thought he looked good today. He, he looked like he was attacking a little bit more. Uh, his last start out, to me, felt like he might have been guiding it a little bit. Today, he was attacking, he was letting it loose, and uh, he looked very, very good today. It was, it was very fun to see. All right, now the trade deadline is a few days away, but there are already some new faces and returning ones on this team. You've got your former teammates that you won the World Series with Joe Kelly and Kike Hernandez back in this team. How have you seen them just be so incredibly received by these fans once again? It's very, very special. You know, these are the best fans in the world. And once once you're a Dodger, you're always a Dodger. And, you know, they let you know about it. And the reception that both those guys got, especially Joe coming out of the mound tonight, it's really hard to beat that. And it was fun to be a part of, to be out there on the field. And just to feel the whole stadium shake just when Joe Kelly's name was announced, it was awesome. Incredible seeing them back in Dodger Blue. A great win tonight. Thank you so much, Max. Thank you. Just first, going into this game today, Dave Roberts felt like you were going to have a really strong outing. You, in fact, did that. Did you, was it feeling, were you feeling really good going into this one or something different for you out there today? Yeah, I was definitely feeling a lot better than I, I did the past couple weeks. Um, I mean, we put in a lot of work this week just getting back in the right spot mentally, um, and I think it paid off. So. What was the focus for you this week? Um, just being on the attack and trusting my stuff in the zone. I think before I was, you know, a little on the defensive, which is not the way I'm, I like to pitch. And, uh, yeah, got back to it this week for sure. How much of that is just obviously getting a chance to be up here and having them maybe hit you a little bit more, just having to adjust, to, like, adjust back to them and mentally go back on the attack again? Yeah, I mean, obviously never want to get hit around, but uh, it's it's definitely a confidence builder and a little bit of a you got to have a learning mentality here for sure. I mean, you can't really dwell on it too much. You got to just, you know, be on to the next one and fix the problem, which is, I think, what we did. How did you find that attacking mentality sort of manifest itself on the mound? Sorry? How did that sort of manifest itself on the mound, that mentality? Um, I think it was something that I picked up in college, just, you know, from pitching for a purpose, pitching for um, trying to, you know, win my team the game back then. And then I think it's just something that I've carried with me throughout Pro Bowl. So. Kind of a start like the one in Texas. Like, how's your week? Like, are you just eager to kind of get back out there? Like, how's your you know, week preparation men mentally going? Um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a different week than usual. I think it was a lot of just, you know, wiping it, uh, getting with, you know, our mental performance guys and getting with our strength guys and our pitching coaches, obviously, and figuring out, you know, what we need to work on. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of work went into it this week. But, uh, yeah, paid off, and we're going to keep working on it. So. Sure. Joe, I mean, you came out of the bullpen standing ovation. What did it mean to you just to have that reception and being back here with this team? Well, obviously, it's fun to be back, you know, with so many guys like that I played with, not not on one team, you know, but being back here in LA is great. And, you know, I played with a lot of these guys in, in Boston, too, so it's fun. Um, the crowd was, yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. Uh, it helped uh, definitely the four hours of sleep I had last night. You know, I was a little bit groggy, but, you know, when – comes time to pitch, it's always a, an adrenaline rush. Could you have expected, though, just that ovation that you received from everyone and how loved you really are here? No, not at all. Yeah, it was cool. Um, you know, it's always fun to, to pitch here, especially, you know, on this side of it instead of being an away player just because, you know, every night it's pretty much sold out and, you know, you get to play in front of a crowd who pays a lot of money to come watch us play. So uh, to treat them to a, a, a close game and to be able to do that, obviously Max put a the team on his back uh, that was fun to watch um, but yeah the whole whole entire game was great defense pitching um, great team win the moment just kind of that 
uh, that final strikeout, the situation that you were brought into, navigating through it, I mean, what was kind of the focus for you? Uh, the focus was, you know, to save Ferg's runs. He's my locker mate, so, you know, anytime you come in with one of your bullpen guys, I mean, I'm not going to say it's different as a starter. You know, you want to save everyone's runs, but, you know, it's one of the guys you see every day for, you know, multiple hours a day. Uh, you know, you try a little bit extra harder for, for your guys, and, uh, you know, Ferg, uh, you know, battled out there. I know he threw the day before. Um, so to come in and, and be able to, you know, do my job and, you know, kind of be smart with runners on in, in scoring position, um, can't just give in and, and, you know, throw it down the middle, and that's the ball game right there. So, um, like I said, just anytime you come in with one of your bullpen guys, you try a little bit more. Uh, so it was fun. It was definitely, you know, a good, uh, good first game back. Um, so be ready to go tomorrow. Have you faced either of those guys before? I have. Uh, Benson, I was fortunate enough to, he was uh, the hitter I knew because he played for Cleveland. Um, so I, I, I knew when he stood in the box, obviously you can't miss him. He's, he's a massive human being. So, um, And then uh, we went to Cincinnati earlier this year. I faced a couple of those guys, but they have a great team. You know, they're obviously in the, in the playoff hunt and, you know, division hunt. Um, and, you know, they don't swing and miss much. They uh, make a lot of contact and they're, they like to run on the base pass, so it's a it's definitely a, a tough lineup to face. But you know, I faced them maybe like a month and a half ago, so it's good to have uh, some familiarity too, especially with uh, coming up with Oakland. You know, Lance is probably going to pitch, and we played them too. You know, recently, so um, it's good to uh, you know first game, couple games to, to not like dive into scouting and just kind of trust you know Will or Austin. They're they're the best at it, so.